So I am actually going to McDonald's to get some coffee first before I start my drive to my new work home. We are out of creamer. And I finally put my license plate on, you guys. So, yeah, it's like a regular car now. <laughs> I am in line for McDonald's and I hope they hurry up because it's 9.57. I don't have to be there until 10.30. It should only take me 15 minutes to get there, but I always like to get there early just in case, I don't know, something happens on the freeway and something delays me. So I hope they hurry up in this line because I need to get going. So I went to Costco and Winco and Walmart after work today. And I'll tell you about work in a little bit, but this is what I got for dinner. Um, I like Indian food and I like curry, but just not a lot of it. And I could not find the lamb that I usually get. So I'm going to try this. And I know this says it's better with rice, but I'm going to use the non bread from there. This is so good, you guys. So I'm gonna use this with this and i'll let you guys know how it tastes and show you guys what it looks like when it's done okay so here is my dinner for tonight in my ray dunn mug that says mug i was calling a mug my ray dunn bowl that says relax and i made some or heated up some non bread just one and a half and look at these cute red white and blue paper plates you guys that's what we're going to use tomorrow for the fourth of july and yes i know it would taste better with rice but hey I don't want it with rice, I just want it with naan. All right, you guys, so just to tell you a little bit how my day went, um, it was only four hours today, I think I told you guys that, and it flew by, my face is really oily, I gotta wash it. Anyway, it flew by and it actually took up the whole time because they, it's a new dental system, dental software system that I'm using, so that took a while and, um, it seems fairly easy to use. I know what I'm doing, but it's just a matter of knowing where to navigate to get to the chart or everything like that. Um, they take digital x-rays, so everything is pretty much chartless, not everything completely, because there still are some things that you just have to have paper with. Get all my paperwork. They already have my direct deposit set up and all that. And what else? I get a good feel from this office. I'm really happy about it. It's a family type of feeling, if that makes any sense. One thing I always ask when I go on my interviews is the reason why the person that I could possibly replace, why are they leaving? If it's a place where like a high turnover of staff, someone is new within the last year or two, and yes, things can happen, whatever like that, but um, people have been there for a long time and the only reason why the position was open that I got is because the person decided to completely change career so she got out of the dental field completely so that's a good thing um, everyone's been there a long time and yeah I think it's gonna be hopefully what I'm praying is my retirement office because that's what I'm looking for I'm tired of you're looking for jobs or only be in some place for like four years or three years and like, oh my God, you know, I got to go. And of course, with any place or with any job, I know I'm going to have my days where I'm like, oh my God, this is, you know, stressing me out or whatever. And even the one dental office that I used to work with be at before, that was pretty much, it was a smaller office and it was just nice and I should have stayed there. Anyway, yeah, I think it's going to be good. So yeah, and everyone talks about the doctor like she is wonderful. And I do get that just from the one day that I was there for the working interview. And they told me that she will bend over backwards for her employees and she's just an awesome person. And she wants me to call her doctor, you know, in her last name in front of the patients or doctor. But she said, when we're not around the doctors, whatever, call me by my first name, I'm like, I don't know if I can do that. If she is younger than me, they've earned that title. So I was always taught, hey, call them doctor. But she doesn't want us to call her doctor. Anyway, so yeah, my day went good. And off tomorrow, because it's the 4th of July. And then I go back on Thursday and then off the weekend. Shine came home tonight and she said, she called me. She said, mom, there's a wolf or something running the streets. I'm like, what are you talking about? And she, cause she parks outside, right? I guess she's seen this animal that's like really big and really huge, just roaming the streets with mm -hmm. no one 
around. So I open the door and I'm like, okay, just hurry up and lock your door and come on in. You know what? Are you purposely doing something silly so I can laugh at you knowing I can't show you? Mm-hmm. Watch no, yourself. Just felt right at the moment. Like, okay. you know sometimes you just feel like doing stuff? I like, wish I could. She's doing... Like just Like the music in your head? What, 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 are, what are you doing? What is it called? Because I can't show her right now. It's called, new, it's called the new freezer dance. How about you reenact it? I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> She's doing something like this, and then to the other it's side. The new freezer dance. The new freezer dance. Yes. Yeah. Okay. She's doing that, and she looks really heck. Ooh, they I look. Have, I have to put the leg up too. <laughs> Why do they call it that? It so there's a song. Fun. There's a song called New Freezer, so they dance like that because it, it goes to the beat of the song. You know, oh. It's. It feels like really cool. Like it feels like. Well, y'all look really silly. Doesn't that just feel good? The new freezer dance. Have you guys heard about that? You. Can I show you doing it, Savannah? Nah. Oh, she said no. Looks okay. It does look ghetto. So yeah, that was my day. And people are already setting off fireworks. So we've been hearing that all night long. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. I'm trying to kill a fly. Um, Tyreek went out to skate and the fly came in. Anyway, happy 4th of July. Hopefully everyone has a safe and happy 4th. I still didn't get it. This is gonna bug me. I'm not gonna stop till this fly is dead. Anyway, especially because I'm about to start cooking. I think I said that. Um, what was I going to say? So Tariq came in and I think he got the fly. I am about to grill in the house, not outside. Um, I do have a barbecue pit, one that you put charcoal in it the old school way. But I'm not going to use that today. I'm just going to grill on my George Foreman grill. It's still going to be barbecue and it'll still be good. So we'll have that. I don't buy fireworks at all ever for the 4th of July. I've always been that way because to me it's like taking your $100 bill because it's about $100 to get a lot of the ground fireworks but it's I might as well take my hundred dollar bill and light it on fire and I'll pay to go see fireworks that are in the sky or whatever like that but I just plain flat out refuse to buy fireworks from a stand for that reason because to me it's totally not worth it so I never buy fireworks we always usually go see it somewhere else or if we're at a theme park for the 4th of July um, which we haven't been for a while or unless someone invites us over and they have it okay I take that back if someone invites us over and they want to buy fireworks I will pitch in but that's like 10 or 15 dollars because there's a group of us but other than that I won't personally buy it so anyway I'm gonna get started with um, our 4th of July dinner and I will show you guys what it looks like when I am done maybe I'll show you guys I'm looking around because just make sure there's no more other flies flying around. Anyway, so, yeah. So we are at the movies. We just got finished seeing The Purge and Savannah and Cheyenne are taking pictures. Coming out of watching The Purge, we met a subscriber that watches us and I wasn't even thinking I could have pulled out the camera to put her on the vlog, but it's Lala and her mother. Hello you guys, thank you for watching us and thank you for saying hi. Look at Cheyenne's posing. Oh my goodness, these girls. I'm, okay. <laughs> How many more y'all gonna take? So we're home now and Savannah and Cheyenne are taking more pictures. And the purge was really good, you guys. A lot of violence, so it's not meant for little ones. Don't take your little ones there. And I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but if you go into the movies to watch them, there are two like end credit things. The first comes after a small credits and then you think it's over and we were just sitting there talking and being silly and then all of a sudden something else came up so make sure you stay for the end so you can see those if you go so yeah you guys go watch the purge um if you're an adult not a kid because it's a lot of violence look at my lawn you guys shame shame but we are watering it now so we are outside and we're sitting in our lawn chairs or our picnic chairs and I'm in mine also. Trike is in his room and we are just sitting here enjoying the nice cool breeze and it actually feels pretty nice out today. The sky is so nice and blue you guys. It's not even really all that hot. It's just really nice out here. The 
that tree needs to come down. I think it's dead or dying or both. And I don't know if you heard, but they have already started with the fireworks. <laughs> what are you girls doing? So it's not even dark yet and people are going crazy with all of the fireworks. You hear all the loud booms and everything. Ignore my dirty garage. Let me scoot over. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's going to get crazy pretty soon. illegal behind the trees I know you guys can't see but it's there so his car is clean this is Tariq's car but his room is a hot mess just like a guy it's still light out and it's almost nine o'clock but that hasn't stopped people from doing fireworks they're not waiting till it's completely dark Y'all, we are bootlegging fireworks. <laughs> wow, well, the minute I bring up that. <laughs> Alright, you guys, we came in. I'm getting really tired. Um, it's about 10, 15, and they're still going outside, so yeah, that's how we watch fireworks when we don't go anywhere to watch fireworks like I said I won't pay for them anyway um just realized I forgot to show you guys our 4th of July lunch slash dinner brunch whatever you want to call it um we had the chicken we had the hot links we had Hawaiian rolls salad and watermelon or something else I can't think right now you guys I'm tired kind of have a headache because all the smoke even though no one was really close to us doing the fireworks it's kind of windy and it brought all the smells in I mean the smell to us and so yeah all right you guys I am going to call it a night do me a favor before you guys leave hit that subscribe button we'd really appreciate it and I'll talk to you in the next video bye <laughs> <laughs>